again, everybody. Fiber Spider here with another origami tutorial for you. Spring is here, the birds are chirping, the flowers are blooming, and the insects are flying right in. Yes, today we are going to be making dragonflies. They are gorgeous, not that difficult, believe it or not, and I think you guys are really going to like this. So, this piece, unlike many of the others, will require a pair of scissors. Yes, because we need to cut our wings uh, separately so that, you know, he's got the, the two pairs going on there. At any rate, and as always, got a little friend. Yes, zooming right in. Absolutely love these. Actually, I think that this would be an awesome piece for a mobile, quite frankly. Yeah, you know, put them in with your flowers, that sort of thing. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're going to start off with a fairly simple base. It's the, the bird base. Uh, going to be starting with the colored side facing up, and then fold your piece of paper in half to make a triangle. If you've been following me for any length of time with these tutorials, we've done this more than a few times. But of course, I will be going through this step by step. So then unfold, turn, and then fold the other way to make a triangle once again. There we go. Open it up. And turn your piece over. And then fold in half to make a rectangle both ways. It's very straightforward to begin with. And actually, if you've made the crane before, this will seem like old hat. So then unfold and turn and then fold in half again. Alrighty. Squeaky. And then pinching together along our folds and then bringing two sides to one side, two sides to the other side, and squoosh. Squoosh it on flat. And that is our base. There you go. Okay, so next up, with the open edges at the bottom, we're going to take this side edge and this side edge and fold it to the center crease for the kite fold and just the top layer. So fold that to the center crease. And then do the same thing with the other side. go. So we have the kite fold. Then turn it over and do the exact same thing with your remaining two sides. So side to the middle for the kite fold. And then side to the middle for the kite fold. There we go. And then along this edge here, fold the top triangle down. Now this part is not entirely necessary, but I like to do it anyway. So fold that down, unfold, turn, and do the exact same thing on this side. All right, unfold. Okay, then open up these two flaps and just take the, the top layer here and bring it back. 
and start to flatten out your piece along our crease lines. Get in those corners there. And then do the same thing on this side. Flatten it down along the creases. And I'm going to just fix that a little bit. And then fold that down. Okay, then we do the same thing on the other side. Flip it over, open these flaps up, bring the top layer up. and start pinching down along those crease lines. There we go, and then bring that on down. So whether it's the front side or the back side, it looks exactly the same. So I'm just going to lift up one of those flaps. And then we're going to deal with the, the middle legs here. So bringing up one of the legs and folding it along this edge right here. I'm going to do that with both of them, but we'll do one at a time. So bring one of the legs up and fold it along that crease. Like so. And then do the other one. Bring up the leg. Fold it along that crease. and pinch like so. Okay, and then a bit of a weird bit of trickiness. All right, so unfold the legs, and we're gonna have to sort of fold them up and in. I will do this slowly. So going to open up the side here and bring up the leg along the creases that we already did so that it's sort of perpendicular and then push up and in and smoosh it down so that this new crease goes along that center line. And we'll do this again for the other side. In fact, what I'll do is I'll undo what I just did. So. So open it up, perpendicular, and then down, like so. So let's do the same thing with this side. So open up this side, bring that leg up so it's perpendicular, and then smoosh down, like so. There you are. All right, so now I'm going to turn our piece around and we're gonna do sort of the kite fold again with this edge and this edge to the center. Now it's gonna to want to fight you. Don't worry, we will deal with that as we, we get there. So I'm going to start by trying to get this edge along the center. And right here is where it's gonna to try to fight us. Don't worry, we will cross that bridge when we come to it. Just worry about trying to line it up at the moment. So it comes to a nice fine point. So as you can see, yeah, it is trying to fight me. Well, bring that there. Insert your finger a little bit. 
and going to flatten this out a little bit as we go. So let me just finish creasing it there, flatten it a little bit, and then flatten this down. like so. And then we do the same thing with the other side. So again, it's this edge to the center. sort of flatten it down and try to make them symmetrical if at all possible. That's not quite symmetrical. Let me keep trying and fiddling with it just a little bit more. Okay, so he's gonna fly a little bit lopsided, but that's okay. So then from here, turn your piece over and we're going to do the same thing with this edge and this edge to the center. This one works a lot easier than the one that we just did. So again, to the center. Get those creases. And see, this side wants to work with us a little bit better than the last side. That is okay, though. There we go. And then we'll do the other side. Almost there. And then flatten. See? Almost symmetrical. I mean, it is organic, so. All right. And then just crease out those wings, make them nice and flat. And believe it or not, we are in the home stretch. All right, so at this point, flip your piece over and along this center line here, you're gonna need your scissors and we're going to start at the tip here and work our way up to where the body starts. And we're gonna do this on both sides. So grab my scissors and just snip, snip, snip. to about that point right there. Work the other one. And snip, there we go. All right, so the wings are free. All right, now at this point, we have this side here. We're gonna be working with this point here. This is this is sort of his butt, if you will. So we're going to be working with this tip. So flip it over and we're going to start to curl this point here for the head. Now what I find works best is if you work this into a more rounded shape with your thumb, sort of breaking it in before trying to just out and out curl it. And then start to pinch and curl and roll. And it's gonna want to fight you at first. 
truth be told. But once you get the paper trained to get into that rolling motion, it will start to happen. You know, you just have to sort of sublimate it just a little bit. And roll it up. And there we go. And it does not have to be perfect by any means because it sort of simulates, you know, the, the large eyes on the top of his head. And then folds the piece in half together like this. And then you can pinch around where his neck would be, like so. And get the tail end as well, pinch that together. And then fold the wings down perpendicular. And then the other side. And you could curl them a little bit if that is something that you wish to do, but dragonfly wings, they tend to be a lot more straight than curved. You know, when I think curved wings, I think more like butterfly wings or uh, that sort of thing. But there you go. And you have a spiffy looking dragonfly. There you are. Alrighty, my dears, so that concludes today's tutorial on how to make an origami dragonfly. Really hope that you liked it, and if you did, please give a little thumbs up button down below. You know that I appreciate your appreciation. And stay tuned for more, whether it's origami, audiobook narration, crocheting, knitting, cooking, what have you. And of course, my other YouTube channel, Fiber Spider Games, where I do video game playthrough and commentary. Would love to see you there too. And until next time, you know what to do, right? I want all of you to stay inspired, stay caffeinated, stay folding fun, fabulous flying things, and stay safe. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I will see you in the next video. Bye for now, everybody, and have a great day.